Hi, my name is John Norton. I'm applying for the Chicago Dev Boot Camp, and this is me teaching you how to make my secret guacamole recipe. This is something that uh, we've been making for a few years now, and it's a recipe that I've perfected, I think, and I'm going to show you how to make it. It's something that we watch, uh, especially when the family gets together for Notre Dame football games, and it's something my sisters especially love. So it is the uh, recipe that I'm going to be showing you today in the next two to five minutes. If you want to see how to do all the different techniques, we're going to upload a couple other videos. Then it takes probably about 15 minutes to make this from beginning to end. But through the sort of magic of the internet and television, we're going to kind of go through here quickly and show you how to do everything. So if you take a look over here, this guacamole recipe has avocados, plum tomatoes, or aroma tomatoes, Garlic is our little secret ingredient that's in there. It has white onion and also has lemon juice. Now some other ones have different uh, ingredients like uh, lime juice or cilantro, but these are the ones that are in ours. There is a specific set of portions and ratios for the ingredients in this recipe, and you can use it up to scale it up to any amount that you want. Whereas you can have one avocado to two plum aroma tomatoes, white onion, one clove of garlic, and about half of a lemon in terms of fresh lemon juice. And you can use either more or less lemon juice if you want to make it a little bit smoother um, or a little bit drier. But your lemon juice is going to keep your guacamole from turning brown. Now, if you chop up your avocado, uh, you're going to cut it in half, take the pit out, and then you know dice it. And you can use a spoon to scoop the rest of the avocado out. Gives you the, the kind of avocado like this. We're going to add this to already to our, our finished amount. This is about one recipe worth over here. We're going to add this in here. And then we're going to also be adding in our tomato, which we've seeded, pulped, and diced. That's on there. And then we're going to add our white onion that we've already cut up. Put that in there as well. So we're going to have quite a bit of vegetable that's going in there. Now the other thing is the, the garlic is going to go in there, but you're going to mash that up with kosher salt. If you mash it with kosher salt, you're going to turn it into a paste, and the paste is also going to pick up a lot of the juices, but the salt's going to absorb the juice from the garlic and add this sort of special flavor to this guacamole that's in there. So when you do that, you do get a garlic paste that's, that looks like that. So I'm going to add that in there right on top. And the last bit that we would be adding in is our lemon juice, which we can get by squeezing in. And we'll just add that on there, like so. Get that squeezed in as well. All right, and we, we use a fork kind of to mash everything back in together here. You get everything kind of mixed up. Your avocado is going to break down, sometimes you mash it up a little bit ahead of time, and it gets it more incorporated. Depends on how ripe the avocados are. But get this all nice and mixed together. And make sure you want to use a bowl that's big enough to hold everything in there. Uh, this one's kind of reaching its capacity here. But this is going to get everything nice and mixed together. Get that garlic flavor mixed through everything. And this is going to get mixed up nice. Get everything kind of coated. Get that lemon through there. The salt, garlic all mixed through. Incorporate it in everything. This is a great guacamole recipe. I think the garlic really is going to you know, surprise a lot of people. Uh, it makes it really, really good. Uh, it's been a favorite in our family now for years, and I hope you try it. Thanks a lot.